Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am completely barefaced. I have morning face. <laughs> um, we are going to walk through my uh, morning skincare routine. So the other day, I had posted up the Biologique Recherche kind of protocol and I got so many little um, DMs and emails saying, please, can you show me your routine in action? So thus, it is a beautiful sunny morning, so I apologize. Usually we don't worry about the sunshine in Portland. No, <laughs> um, it's a gorgeous day here, but we are here together first thing in the morning. I am sipping my morning elixir. Actually, I better turn this around. This is the little corgi cup. Um, this is lemon and apple cider vinegar water. And so I always start out my morning by having a nice pH balancing kind of elixir, which I feel like is fantastic for your skin. And yes, I still drink coffee, but I start with this first thing in the morning every day. Okay, and during the winter months, I have it warm versus in the summer months, I have my morning elixir more like at room temp. So we are gonna go ahead and do my morning routine. So excuse my morning face. Okay. Let's go ahead to switch the background a little bit because the lighting was so crazy having that sunshine shine through. Okay, let's start this. I'm gonna pull back my hair. Okay, now we're set. First thing I'm going to do is use Late VIPO2. This is basically my favorite creamy cleanser. And I take about this much and I just kind of rub this into my skin. And this is one of these that I kind of let sit for a minute um, before rinsing it off. So it's just a nice creamy cleanser. And I'm gonna come down to my neck. And if it was just me, I would even bring it down to my decollete, but you guys don't need to be seeing that. <laughs> Um, oftentimes I will do this after I take my shower. I will then cleanse my skin outside of the shower and kind of bring it all the way down my neck decollete. Okay. Um, and so we have that and I just sort of let it sit, maybe have a sip of my elixir. It's just that this is not the cheapest cleanser in the world. So I try to kind of just like get the benefits by letting it sit for a minute or so. And maybe enjoy a little sip of water. And then I'm going to rinse it off. So normally you guys, I love these little uh, muslin cloths. They often come with my cleansing balms. I think this one's from Emma Hardy or Eve Loam. And I will just kind of wet this and then I will place it over my face and kind of wipe the cleanser off. Now again, you can also just use running water and splash that way. This has a light exfoliation on your skin. And I just kind of take that and make sure that I have all of the cleanser off of my skin. Now in the morning, I've already done a really good job of cleansing my skin at night so I don't have any makeup on. Um, so, you know, this is just sort of prepping my skin for the day ahead. And again, I love these little cloths. And then we will go in with the next step. So got that all off, feeling nice and moisturized, you guys. I just love that cleanser so much. And then we're gonna go in with my favorite part. This is the Lotion P50B 1970 version. And people were asking me if I could show them how I use this. So I just take a little bit of cotton round and put a few drops on there. Now, I like to start, again, if I didn't have clothes on, <laughs> I would kind of go down here, you guys. I like to start from down in the decollete 
and then I would just kind of dab, 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 and I dab all the way up, and then I start dabbing on my chin and my cheeks. And that's what she was kind of rigorous. So when I was taught how to use this, you're not supposed to like just rub, you're supposed to dab, 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 okay? And it kind of invigorates the skin. And you're gonna see my skin is going to take on a little bit of redness. Now, I have been using this for a while, so it's not, when I first started using this, I would get a real big flush. Um, now my skin is used to it. And again, I like the B version because it is sort of like the medium strength. So again, I'm just gonna kind of lift, lift, lift. And you guys, I do run this under my eyes. <laughs> um, that's probably not recommended, but for some reason it sort of wakes them up a little bit. Um, so don't, you know, I'm gonna bring it behind my ears, just making sure I've got everything. So just dab, dab, dab all around and this is your toner slash liquid exfoliant okay now after i do that you guys this particular version this is the 1970 version has a little bit of phenol in it you do not have to get that i know that phenol can be kind of a controversial ingredient um i like it i feel like it really invigorates my skin i feel like i've taken my skin to the gym um so that's personal on my front, but they also just have lotion P50B, the original lotion P50. Um, and it's just a touch and it just feels fantastic on my skin. I feel like I'm getting that circulation going. Now, someone had asked, please use the lotion MC 110 number one on camera. You guys, this stuff is a booster to your lotion P50. And I love this. Now, I do not use it every single day. It is kind of exactly that, a booster. But when I want my skin to be kind of feeling nice and firm, lifted, um, smooth as glass, this is what I'll use. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a cotton round, or you can get the gauze ones, and you're going to squirt like three or four drops on there. Now I focus this primarily underneath my jawline where I'm feeling a little bit of sagging effects. And then again, I'm going to be dabbing just like this. Now any wrinkles, you can kind of lift your wrinkle up and then you're gonna dab, 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 dab. And again, like right through the navia, we're gonna go right in there. And then this just lifts, lifts, lifts. So you wanna think lifting up the skin and again, just sort of vigorously coming up through the 11s and lifting. I also kind of like to lift up where my eyes are sagging. It gives you a temporary, this is not going to last, but it'll give you a temporary lifting effect. I kind of like to go in where my eye wrinkles are and lift, lift, lift right where those crow's feet are. And then again, over on that nose area we're going to use a little bit more i usually use like three to four squirts on each side and again kind of really want to focus on my jowl line over here so i'm just going to kind of lift and i'm going to come up 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 and again at the whole routine kind of like lifting and invigorating the skin and I kind of like to just go through my nose area, which I can get a little bit congested there. So this is lactic acid, which is a really fantastic acid that's mild but effective. And um, I just, I really love the booster. So again, here's like my kind of like here, wrinkles. I'm gonna lift and then I'm gonna dab, dab, dab. And it'll give me a quick kind of, kind of through my wrinkle lines on my lips, it's going to give me a temporary lift. Okay, so that is step number two. And again, I probably do that two to three times a week, depending on where I'm at. So let's say I'm going to a speaking event for work. <laughs> That's always when I bring out the works and I always do my protocol because I just want my skin to look healthy and good. 
Okay, so after that, I kind of let this sit again. We'll have one more sip of our elixir. One thing I heard is in between kind of your treatments, letting them kind of penetrate for a minute. I don't always have time to do that. So that's, you know, here nor there, but I do like to kind of let this just kind of, you know, have its effect. Next, I'm gonna go in. In the morning, I use a vitamin C serum. So I'm gonna go in with my revision. This is the C Plus Correcting Complex 30%. This is the one I'm currently trying out. I usually am a SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic person, but I've really been enjoying this guy. It's more of like a little lotion. And then I will rub this guy in. I find it to be very hydrating. And then this is also where you would go in if you are using your uh, Biologique Recherche serums, this is the next step. So I just ordered some new serums from them. And so I'll do another one of these videos when I'm using those. But in the morning, you guys, I try to kind of just stick with my um, vitamin C serum and not overdo it. And especially if I've used my booster, okay? I tend to just, you know, overkill with like a million different serums I don't think is good for your skin either. I think that it's kind of like, what are you doing? And I'm just gonna kind of push this into my skin. Just like that. And then again, usually with the vitamin C, I like to give it a minute to kind of penetrate in to the dermis here. And, but I think you can kind of see, it's just kind of feeling a little bit hydrated. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and use the Dr. Barbara Sturm. These are the anti-pollution drops. Now, the reason I'm using these is it has a similar watery texture to, kind of similar to a lot of the Biologique Recherche serums, which I do like you guys. And I was laughing after what, doing that video. I'm like, oh, I've got to order some. Um, and I'm just taking a couple drops here of this guy. I do not, I am not like, I'm a little bit frugal with all my serums. I do not coat them on. I use just a few little drops. And again, I kind of, for my particular skin, um, you know, loading on 20 different serums does not, I think it overloads the skin. So um, normally I usually just do uh, maybe two, but most of the time it's just my vitamin C. Um, I have been enjoying this anti-pollution drop. To me, it's hydrating and it does feel like it gives a little protective um, coating to the skin. So I really am enjoying that. Now at this point, I like to go ahead and apply a lip balm. Uh, you guys, I love the Laneige sleeping mask. Um, this is what I wear every night. And you guys, these last forever. I bought these at one of the Sephora VIB sales. Not that it's expensive in the first place, but I like to go ahead and start hydrating my lip area. And then I also like to go ahead and put my eye cream on. So we're gonna go ahead and use this baby. I am trying to use up my La Mer. You guys, this is the Genesense um, Eye and Expression Cream. I kinda got suckered into this. <laughs> um, this is an expensive eye cream, but it was funny. The woman put it on my eyes and my daughter was like, oh my gosh, your eye looks like so lifted um, and I was like, it does? Um, <laughs> I, I think I went back and bought it the next day. But what I'm trying to say is you do not have to buy a super expensive eye cream. You do not have to be a sucker like me. I am just using this guy up. So what I will do is I will put a little bit on with my ring finger and then I do like to use the little metal um, top that comes off and then what they suggest is you just literally massage this it feels so good you guys you could do this with like a jade roller but I like to de-puff the eye area and what she did was that she did little circles and she lifted my eye area up so again I am older and my 
you know, they're starting, my uh, lids are starting to sag. And so she was like lifting this up, de-puffing, and then you're lifting the eye area up. And again, this is going to give me a temporary lift to my eyes. It feels amazing, you guys. So if this is something, I'm not saying it's a bad product. I'm just saying I don't want you to get the idea that you have to go out and um, spend $400 on an eye cream. So you're gonna come here and she did little circles and then she lifted up and again, she kind of did it here and I'm just kind of massaging the eyes. Really enjoying. So this just kind of de-puffs. It has that cooling effect. But you guys, you literally could get the same effect by using um, one of my favorite eye creams is the Ole Enriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I think that's in the $30 range. Fantastic eye cream. And then you could use a cold spoon and kind of place that underneath your eyes um, or one of your rollers. So again, just kind of moisturizing that through your eyes hoping to lift the skin up a little. Okay, after that, today we are going to use a little combo that I'm in love with. Um, I <clears throat> recently picked up the Creme Adian Elastin um, Collagen Marin and I've been using this most mornings. I love the Creme Mask for Next. This is what I use at night. And then for my pigmentation, they had recommended that I mix a little bit of the Vernax with the Creme Pigma 400. Now you guys, this gives you the most gorgeous glowing skin and because the Vernax, I do not feel like it gives you a little bit of a waxy look on your skin. <laughs> um, I like it, but it doesn't play exactly well with makeup, but if you mix, the Pigma 400, and again, you guys, I am, you know, have pigmentation, so I am wanting to combat that slowly but surely. And real quick note, I do have an IPL um, facial planned, and I was wondering if you guys wanted me to do a before and after, kind of show you what that's all about. If you do, comment below, because I can, um, I don't know if I can bring you into the actual you know, having her do it, but I can definitely show you, here's my skin before and after and kind of show you how it will get rid of your pigmentation. Um, I had bought a series of them and I have one more left to go. This is the Pigma 400. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my Vernex and I'm gonna mix them together. And you guys, it just gives you the most glowing skin. I had put it on at night and I was like, we need to try this during the day. So it's the Vernex is super hydrating. And then the Pigma 400 has like a little bit of like, I think mica in it. I don't know, it has some sort of glowing element. You'll see. And I'm just going to put this all over and we're gonna see, you're gonna start to see this like glow going on. It is so pretty, you guys. I am in love with um, the combination of mixing these two together. And again, that's gonna just kind of help keep pigmentation at bay. It, it'll kind of break it up, you guys. But again, as I said the other day, if pigmentation is your like concern, you're gonna need to go get laser is the best way to be getting it off. I haven't really found any product that is going to get rid of that. So here is these lotions together and can you see, it just gives you like a really pretty glowing skin. It feels very hydrated. I'm gonna kind of get down my neck. And again, you guys usually, I should have taken off my jewelry. Um, <laughs> I am someone who sleeps in some jewelry, maybe not the best thing. Um, so just kind of patting that into the skin. And I have really been enjoying that. And I'm finding that if I mix just a little bit of the Vernex with the um, Pigma, then I can wear it during the day. Now, I do want to show you, I do love this is one of the yeasty creams. This is the ADN Elastin Marin. This is going to give me that kind of 
firming effect to the skin today we're kind of going for the glowy so again next time i do with once i um, get my serums you guys i will use this on camera for you um but this is another one that i love i tend to kind of rotate through um as i said i try to like pick up one item a month and then i can kind of have a arsenal of products that i can kind of run through so nothing is running out at one time um that's sort of i don't know if that's a budgetary uh, tip but that's kind of the way I do it then after you do that we're gonna use the finishing serum right now I am finishing up my serum y'all o2 and this is going to be just your nice hydrating protective serum and I did end up getting you guys were like the Legrand serum is the you got to get it so I did that is on its way. So we'll do another one of these videos. So I just take a few drops, you guys. Again, I am a little bit stingy. I don't just like coat everything on and I feel like you don't need to. You can use just a little. And then this you put on top of your cream and it just really like uh, seals in all the goodness on your skin. I even go underneath my eyes. This I found that this one's really great for kind of underneath the eyes and I will just kind of put it all over close again my skin is not perfect so just <laughs> I just wanted to show this is like the basic BR protocol and then I always add in my SPF now I do think they recommend that I have been told you do the finishing serum do all of that but as you can see my skin right now just feels very hydrated um, kind of plumped up a little bit and it's just ready for makeup and all that stuff so and I will top mine off with the most important part of the regime and that is your SPF you guys I truly have to say out of all of the products we just used the SPF is the most important um, again now I'm battling all this um, hyperpigmentation because I tried to tan and didn't use my SPF so this one does have a little bit of a white cast but you are going to see and I'm very generous with that <laughs> um, I'm very generous with my SPF. And then on this one, you guys, I do make sure to get down on my decollete here. And again, normally if I'm in a towel or something, it's gonna be easier. So I'm just gonna come all around and I just wanna show you, it's going to meld into the skin. So if you're worried about the white cast, don't worry. And then this SPF, you guys, is so fantastic because it's very calming. I have had, I have searched high and low for SPFs can be very irritating. And this one is just so calming. It is a mineral-based sunscreen that is a mix of titanium dioxide and zinc, I believe. Yep. And it just is fantastic. So that is going to be my final step before we get ready for the day. So this is my AM routine, you guys. I hope this was helpful. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is my basic AM routine. Um, some days I do not include my little MC10 one, uh, number one booster, but that's a couple times a week. But in general, uh, that is my routine. Now I did order some new serums, as I said, so we will do another one of these get ready with me's using some of those new products as well. And then again, I know some people are gonna ask for my nighttime routine and I will do that coming up shortly. Um, if you're interested, you guys, I am going to be playing with this um, Soleil at Lune with this beautiful color. I know I'm late to the game again, but I'm gonna go ahead, put on makeup and use this little guy this morning. And so if you're interested, that video will be coming up next. I hope this was helpful, you guys, and have a great day.